everyone so today's video is going to be my top 10 spring lip colors um if you're where you watch my videos lip products are probably my favorite so i have 10 and i feel like the more the merrier it gives more of an option um in case you can't find the color or anything like that so i'm doing my top 10 um bold lip colors this spring bold lips are very popular and it's actually something that I've recently just gotten into a lot more. Um, I'm literally obsessed with the bold lips. I don't know what it is but I love playing with my lips rather than anything else so I'm going to get right into it. So I'm going to try to stay in like the color family. So I'm going to start off with pinks because I love pinks and you can't go wrong with pinks. And so my first favorite bold lip color will have to be a Revlon lip butter. I love lip butters. I know you've heard so much about the lip butters. Um, I have quite a few, but this one is my favorite. It is the most pigmented one that I do have, um, and it's a really nice color, and you hardly need any product, which is just crazy to me. Um, that's what it looks like. It's pretty dark and pretty bold, and I, I love it. It's just so pretty, so I do recommend this, and they are in the permanent collection, so they should be a lot easier to find now that they're not so new. Um, another really pretty pink that I really love, and that's very affordable, is the... 967 dollhouse pink by wet and wild these are a little bit more drying so if you have drier lips then i wouldn't recommend this um if you put a nice balm underneath it will be fine um or a nice gloss over top of it but i just like the color it's just really unique and very very bold and super pretty i love it it's just a nice spring summer color and then my next color is very affordable again and this one is actually um temptress um, 400 by CoverGirl, and this one is more of like a Barbie pink color. It's it's super pretty, but it's more Barbie-ish, which is that one right there. As you can see, that one is a lot more like blue toned, and then that one's bright. So, well, and a very fun way to kind of add some of the neon bold trend just really easily to your lips. So, I love that. And then um, another pink color that I really do love. Um, I don't wear it as often, but I just love the color. And it is Naughty Saute by MAC. This is from the Shop Cook MAC Cook Collection. Um, this is a little bit more lighter, but it's still pretty intense. Um, I would say it's right there. It's closest to the dollhouse, but you can see it's a lot more pink toned. So I love it. It's very, very pretty and it's a beautiful color. Um, my next one is going to be Pink Popcorn, which is from the newer collection. I have filmed this video already and then I kind of added more to it. So um, we're going to hopefully this will be the last time I film it. This one is more of a lavender based pink. Um, I'm not sure why they call it Pink Popcorn because it's more lavender, I feel like, but it's still really pretty and it's pink, but it's just not as like pinky as you're like expecting, but that's what it looks like. As you can tell, it's a lot more lavender and it's a lot more sheer. Um, it is what I have on my lips today, actually, and I just feel like the color is buildable and it's just gorgeous. Um, now, another one is Watch Me Simmer by MAC. Um, this one actually is from the new collection, the Real Sexy collection, but I got it in the, I think it was a Shop Mac Cook Mac collection. I think it was that one. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. And this one is more of like a coral um, pink color. It's very, very bright and bold. I have wear this pretty often. Um, this is amplified, so it's going to be pretty intense. Um, my next one is, of course, the Viva Glam Nikki. This one I love. Everybody loves. I know. It's, it's actually a really pretty color. This one is more of like a yellow-based pink, though. So it is a little bit more bright. My next one is Force of Love by MAC. And this one is from the Chen Men collection. And I did wear this in a few of my videos. And this one, I feel like it's as close to the Watch Me Simmer, which is that one that's that one but this one this one's matte and this one's more red toned that's right it's that one so again they're very similar it's super pretty and I like it um, now as far as like the orange and peachy colors um, an orange color that I really love and this was a really popular color last year and this is the Revlon Siren um, it is very bright orange. I feel like this kind of orange though, it makes people's teeth look yellow, even though when they're white, just because of the the base of it, the color base, I don't know what it is, but that with against white teeth, it just kind of counteracts and makes your teeth look weird. I like it though, but I just feel like it doesn't make my teeth look as white, which I just don't like, but it's a really pretty like pop of 
orange. It's not something I could wear as often. All the other ones I could probably wear on a daily basis. This one I probably couldn't, but it's still a very beautiful color. My next one is from the Real Sexy Collection, and this one is Beyond Gorgeous. Um, it is a really nice, like, orange... It looks like it's... It looks like it's, like, orange orange. Um, it's But it's a coral color. It's, it's an orange coral. It's very light. Um, it could be builded. This is an amplified, so it's pretty. I'm um, gonna be pretty intense. Um, and I just want to show. This isn't in my bold favorites, but a lot of people are saying that it was um, similar to the orange soda. By next, it isn't. I'm gonna show you right now that it. Let's see, that one is orange soda, and then that one is the. See, I did. I gave you like a stupid. There. See, that one's definitely like more nudie orange if you can still find the real sexy. Um, my last one, which I think is very comparable to real sexy, it's the closest one I think, and it is a little bit more expensive but it's totally worth it. It goes on like butter. It's the YSL Rouge Whoa. lipstick in number 30, um, which is a nice peachy color. And there it is right there. And then that one is the... So you can see they're pretty close. I think that this is probably the most comparable to the um, Real Sexy Lipstick, which I'll show you right together. Um, this one is definitely more orange toned, and then this one's more of peachy color, but they're still pretty similar, and I still love them. They look really great, especially in the spring, summertime, and just like a, adding a pop of color really is going to be so dramatic to the look. Um, so I'm really in love with it, and I'm just so into this trend, and if you haven't noticed, obviously I am, because every other second I get a new lipstick, like I need another lipstick. Um, anyways, these are my picks for the spring, my bold lip picks. Um, you kind of got to play around with them to see what will suit your skin tone, what will suit your hair type, what will just suit you in general. Um, it's obviously a personal preference. Um, other than that, again, these colors aren't going to work for everybody, and you don't have to like them, but I do. So that's why I'm sharing them with you. If you want to get some ideas, maybe pick some of them up, try them out, and play around with some color. So it's a very fun way to incorporate the trend into your makeup. If you don't like to put on like colorful blush or eyeshadow, which in my case, I like to wear more natural nude, um, neutral color and then play with my lips, which I said that probably in 18 videos, but this will be the 28th one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found that it was helpful and kind of get some ideas and kind of play around with um, the colors for the spring and see what works well for you and have fun with it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!